we all know why we're here, so we're not going to waste any time. We're just going to get right into it. Uh, any of the clips you see on here is going to be from my live stream. That's why my camera looks like I have Yondis, because it did not want to cooperate with me the other night. But anyways, to get the Reggies, obviously you need the Crown Tundra expansion, uh, other than like transferring them in from another game. Uh, and then you need, obviously, to have access to the wild area. If you open your map, I'm going to mark where they are on their locations. Now, to get the last two, the new ones, you have to... We'll get more into those a bit later, but you have to have the three original Reggies. I'm pretty sure you could just transfer them from another game if you have them, and it would work. I'm not sure. I didn't do... I just caught them because it was fun for the stream. All right, if you go to the marked location on your map where Reggie Steel is, and you talk to the door, you're going to see a little puzzle here. This one was the most annoying to me. I had to kind of Google this one. Uh, all you got to do, just whistle. Just, just, just whistle, and the door opens. Go inside. You'll see the little pattern on the floor. This is the same for all of these, and you just walk over it. That's probably the most annoying part, is trying to walk over the damn little circles correctly. But you do that, walk up to the statue, talk to it. There's Reggie, Reggie Steel. All right, so if you go to the mark location on your map where Reggie Rock is, and you walk up to the door and you talk to it, uh, if you can't figure out what the puzzle is, it's an Everstone. The first Pokemon in your party just has to be holding an Everstone. So you should have an Everstone. If you don't, you're going to need one. But put it on the first Pokemon in your party. Talk to the door. If the door opens, again, walk in, step all over the pattern, and then there you go. You got Regirock. For Reg Ice, this one's probably one of the easier ones because all you have to do is catch a Cryogenol and have it out with you. So it has to be first in your party. So it's walking around with you and talk to the door again and it'll open up. That one took me a second to kind of figure it out, but once I got it, I was like, I was just, I was leaving the area, and then I saw Cryogenol, I'm like, wait a minute, and yeah, it, it's that. Just catch Cryogenol if you don't have one already. First in the party, talk to the door, it opens. Again, step on the pattern, it lights up. You've got yourself a Reg Ice. Now, for the two that people might be here for, you got Reggie Lecky and Reggie Drago. Uh, I'm going to show on the map again where you get them. The only catch is with these ones is you can only get one per save file. So if you really want both of them, you either have to find someone to trade with, get another copy of the game, or transfer them to Pokemon Home, restart your game, and do it all over again. But what you're going to do is you have to have Regice, Regirock, and Registeel in your party, and then you talk to the door, and the door will open. You walk in, and you see a pattern that if you step all over them, nothing happens. That is because you were supposed to create the pattern of the Reggie that you want. If you want the electric one, the pattern you're going to do is pretty self-explanatory. It looks like this. If you want to go with the dragon type, the Reggie Drago, that I swear is just Game Freak telling you that they're going to create another Charizard form. Because I it's, it's got Charizard's face for arms. Then that pattern is going to look like this. I kind of messed it up because it looks like a Y. I thought the little... The second circular dot was one, but no, no, it, it looks like this. And then once you have that, the game's gonna, it's gonna be like, oh, there's energy, whatever. You go and talk to the statue again. It's gonna tell you that you can't, you can't change it if this is what you go with. If you kill these guys on accident, all you have to do is just obviously heal up your Pokemon because they don't get restored. You just recreate the pattern. If you kill them, it is possible to just rebattle them. You want to make sure you store your Pokemon though, because they're not gonna get full health. As long as you haven't saved, you could reset and go back for the other one if you decide, hey, I don't I actually don't want this one, I want the electric one, or I want the dragon one. But once you've confirmed it, and you've battled them, even if you kill them, you can't go back in and be like, oh, I fought Reggie Drago, and I killed it, I changed my mind, I want Reggie Alecki. It doesn't work that way. You're stuck with Reggie Drago once you confirm it and then fight it. Only way to change that is if you just reset your game and then redo it. Because you shouldn't be locked out unless you catch it and then you save. Then you're at, you're just actually screwed. But yeah, that is how you get the Regis. Uh, if people want, I can make other videos on how to get some of the other Pokemon there. Some of them are pretty self-explanatory, but, you know, gotta get them views up. Uh, if anyone's interested, I got links in the description. I got my Discord. I got a Twitch. We're trying to grow, grow the family there. Uh, I stream some Pokemon. I stream a variety of stuff. But, you know, gotta do the little plug. Uh, but we are probably going to be streaming some more Pokemon for the foreseeable future. We'll see what happens. Anyways, I want to thank you guys for watching. Hope you all have a great day. From Zuri the Elysian Lemur, I'm Dusty Mill. Bye, everybody.